these are all people that work for the railroad from time to time, men and women. Mm -hmm. This is me right here. My wife was a, a clerk and I was an engineer. And there's little stories, anecdotal stories about how they, things they remember on the railroad when they were here. What you have over there is the conductors went east and west. Okay. And told what train they were on. It's handwritten in there. Okay. This, a grease pencil or something? Yes, a grease pencil. These are all the books that the conductor had to take with him anytime he went to work. Mm -hmm. This is a click book. It tells about all the tracks, like here in Marsh Lane, that are down in the yards. Okay. He had to have safety books. He had to have different watch cards mm -hmm. and all in order to stay current with the railroad. He had all of these other books, his timekeeping book, his date, his stamp. Those are little stamps that he could just stamp on his paperwork. When he okay. Took Pictures behind you are two, the last train when they stopped at Marshland, the last freight trains. And the building on your right there is, is in the lower picture is now gone. It's called a, a, a this one. Yes, it's, it was, it's now gone. They're, they're across from the main door we just came out of. Okay. They're looking down toward the west. Okay. And that was a freight house. Uh, MFA owned it and they brought in yeah. freight cars loaded with the stock and material and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, I think I there's some bleachers out there now, yeah, right? bleachers now. These are conductor uniforms, passenger uniforms, and all the different things that's when you, when you punched your ticket. Mm-hmm. The watches they used, the brakeman's hat. You can tell he's a conductor when he has the brass or the gold badges or the cuffs. Okay. And then you can tell it's they're silver. Mm -hmm. You're an assistant conductor when they're okay. silver. So you, if you know, you can look right at the guy and say that's the freight outfit they wore a lot of times on the freight. Mm -hmm. They used to hand up signals and. You know, I don't know what this is. It, it says it, a ticket counter. Yeah, it, and I don't know exactly how that works. I never okay. did. But this is it right here in the picture, uh -huh. but I don't know how it works. This is how the the old battery acid operator mm -hmm. and telegraph telegraph. Uh, they handed up messages, and all your messages are in the hoop up here, and the uh -huh. man will hand it off the side and hold yep. his arm out and catch it. And you had your orders. Mm -hmm. The fire we had a, started a lot of coal burning. Marshland had 17 coal mines at one time in, in the city of Marshland. Wow. Four of them were commercial coal mines mm -hmm. that furnished coal commercially for the railroad. Okay. And, uh, coal and Marceline, I never would have guessed. And there's the deep, you're on the overhead bridge looking down mm -hmm. at the depot and we're well the white building is yep. the freight house and gone. we're on the other side of that we're on the other side now it's a water tank over on the dark there's a water tank on the right because mm -hmm. you had to have water whether it's fuel oil or or coal yeah you had to have steam so, and, you had to have oil, yeah. water these are down in the yards now that's to the west of us right yes, okay well west. i was just going to ask you about this building this, this was for coal, right? Yes. Okay, so that's kind of a relic. There's four of them in the continental United States, three in the United States, and one in Canada. Okay. They're all that's left. Oh, there's another one in Nebraska. I've got a friend there whose father was a railroad historian. Okay. And she's posted a picture of a similar building. Yeah, that, um, it's down there. I, I don't know where the other... Nebraska are. or the Dakotas, yeah. I don't know where the other... Except mm -hmm. one is in Canada, I've okay. been told at least, and then this one is in... These other three are in the continental United States. Okay. We no longer have a roundhouse, but at one time we did. Mm -hmm. And this great horn owl was in the roundhouse. Okay. And all the guys took care of him. And we, in order to get him mounted or stuffed, we had to go to the conservation department because they're a protective animal. Yes. So this is the roundhouse in the picture below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a roundhouse in uh, Aurora, Illinois. It's been turned into a, a restaurant and such, restaurant. but you can definitely tell uh, what it was. So, uh, did the owl have a name? I don't know if they actually. The Columbia Public Library uh, has a uh, similarly stuffed owl mm -hmm. with a similar disclaimer about the uh, manner in which they came to, to have it. Yeah. Uh, 
<clears throat> it's it's quite because it the and this was in a private collection at one time. Mm -hmm. So this was the first charter, the first uh, engineer union. Okay. A lot of these guys, I knew a lot of these guys. They were when I was a young man. Mm -hmm. I'm 64 now. But when I was a young man, uh, you know, just 16 or 18 or 20, and yes. these were the grandfathers running around. Yeah. Uh, okay. And all of these books are. These shelves have uh, books in them, like this is what an engineer would need to go to work, mm -hmm. and they're all they're all labeled what they need. This is a any book up until 1977, any structure from Chicago to California is in that book. Wow! And if you want to build a building, a wooden structure, mm -hmm. you could find it in there and they have the bill of material and all that sort of thing, so you could actually build a building exactly. Wow. I'm told if the building were so big, it had a, it had a so big a sign on it, mm -hmm. it said Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. If it was a next size larger, it had a next size larger okay. on down, uh, down the list. A lot of that stuff is represented right here. No matter where you went, if you needed an ax mm -hmm. or a shovel, like these folks have here, no matter where you went, they were the same in Chicago and California and standard issue. Standard issue. When you went to the warehouse and got one, that's what mm -hmm. you got. A, a number six axe or such. Yeah. All the tools that the men used, ballast forks, mm -hmm. shovels, spike mauls. This has a glass and mm -hmm. an inspect the rail, to inspect the rail. I hand, they do it with electronic now. So yes. Like the X ray now. Uh -huh. That's neat. And I guess around, the, this is an example. If you get too aggressive with your engineer, you mm -hmm. spin out and ruin the rail and yeah. chastise pretty readily. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Well, they had to get that real hot to do that, didn't they? Yes, they spun the wheels a long, long time. Yeah. This is probably 136 pound rail. That means three foot of it weighs 136 pounds. Okay. If it's 118 pound rail, mm -hmm. foot, right on down to the rail that goes into the mine, it's just 65 pound rail. Just. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just small, you know, it's just small like this for the coal mines. Yeah. And in there. This beanery, this is what it actually looked like. This building was a lunch room. Okay. And this, you're in front of it, the same door we just came in. Uh huh. And these are some of the ladies that used to work there, and it was open 24 hours a day. And they stopped freight train, passenger trains long enough that you could get off, come in, and get mm -hmm. a little sack lunch and get back on because they didn't have dining cars initially. Yes. And then after they started getting rid of the passenger cars, they, passenger trains, pardon me, mm -hmm. went to freight. Yeah. Then it, they kept it open because all the, Freight conductors the workmen. and engineers mm -hmm. that came to work every day. Uh, they came in here and got lunch uh -huh. and breakfast, dinner. It was open 24 hours. Wow. That's a, uh, it's a real job to, to staff it 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah. And these are guys that worked in the mine, mm -hmm. uh, the coal mines. It had been a, on your hands and knees all day long, I can't imagine. Yep. Number one coal mine. It's right down the tracks down here. I don't know how familiar you are with town, but it's just where the Highway 5 goes under the railroad tracks, the underpass. Yes. Mm -hmm. right? Just as you go out of town on this, from the high school out of town, mm -hmm. as it starts to make the curve, there's a gravel road that goes down over the hill. Okay. And the, it's right beside the tracks, okay. back in on that gravel road. This gentleman right here with the hat and the, and the lantern. Mm -hmm. And these are his tools. Good old carbine lantern. Carbine lantern. Yeah. These are his tools. And in fact, we when the lantern, the hat was hung up on a nail, uh -huh. and it was egg shaped, almost like a football, uh -oh. hanging there for years and years. Yeah. The weight of the lantern was on the on the uh, bracket. Yeah. And uh, his son actually worked for the railroad. He worked in the coal mines, and he worked on the railroad. Mm -hmm. And these were all his tools. He he took this with you every day, and this is a tool to take this nut off with. Okay. You put a new head on every day. Oh, as you out. Okay. And then at night you give your tools to the blacksmith, and the blacksmith reforged the tools and not reshaped them for you to go to work the next day. Mm -hmm. 